Okay, so we got this brand new machine, fresh from China, and it's uh, supposed to be able to make dry ice. So here we have a little tank with liquid CO2, and it's all being fed out here at a bit over 200 PSI into the machine. It's all wired in, not electrocuting me, which is good, and I think we're, I think we're ready to start. So. According to the very vague instructions that I got, we just have to go to auto and hit start. Oh, <laughs> it's doing something. What is it doing? No one knows. Actually, we can take a look. I don't know if this is smart, but... I have no idea what it's doing. But I think that it's making the dry ice and then just crushing it with a piston or something. Oh, there. Turned yellow. I think we're, I think we're ready to start. Just to spin this this way. You can see some CO2, some solid CO2. Now when you hit, it says reset and then start. We should, we should get some beautiful pellets. Come on, you can do it. Push. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, we did it! We made a pellet of dry ice. Just one little pellet. You gotta wait, the, fir the first few pellets are the hardest. There you go. <laughs> Just like one little pellet. Oh. Okay. It's getting a bit better. <laughs> Heck yeah. I think the problem straight up is that the it's not flowing enough liquid CO2. Mm. So because of that, when it's crushing it, it's just not producing that much. Mm. Okay. Done. Now, for all of our effort, we can test it. They're pretty, they're pretty dense. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the problem with the other dry ice... Oh, look. <laughs> oh. That's why we made it, right? I'll go for a while. I'll probably freeze the, uh, the water. I mean, it's cool to be able to just make dry ice. That's the idea. You can just make these pellets. It was at least, you know, several handfuls. Convenient. It's pretty good. I'm very happy with my new machine. <laughs>